Let's cross back to the headquarters of the new popular front this evening. Joy we saw earlier on the screens there, and I'm pleased to say that we can speak live to Danielle Obono. She is an MP for the party, a pretty well-known MP uh, here in France. Uh, good evening to you. Thanks very much indeed for talking to us on France 24. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Can I ask you, first of all, congratulations on what appears like a great win for the new Popular Front this evening. Is your leader, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, now going to put his name forward to be France's Prime Minister? Well, let us celebrate this moment for a minute before, you know, thinking about government and anything, because tonight Francis showed the world that we can beat fascism. It's not a done deal as it's been told us for weeks and weeks. And I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an important moment for our country, of course, but also for Europe. And I think this message is, resounds around the world because uh, it's been a tough fight. We were against the entire mainstream media, the entire political systems. They've been trying to tell us that we will be defeated, that there was no way we could unite. We united and we showed it was possible to, to, to say to the people there's another way. And I think that's, that's what we're feeling today. Uh, I think millions of people are relieved and, and, and very happy. And I think we're going to just celebrate tonight. And, uh, and then we we'll talk about how we're going to govern. But one thing is for sure on our side is we've, gone, we've been elected to implement our program. And that's the thing that will be um, necessary if we want to push the, the far right, the national rally, back to uh, the, the, the being of history, as we said in, 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 here in France. So that's the main point that I think is important to say tonight. Well, let me bring in at this point um, Olivia, who I was speaking to um, a while ago before we got cut off by your leader. I wonder what you make of your colleague there within the left wing alliance, not giving a very clear answer as to whether or not Jean-Luc Mélenchon might be a candidate for prime minister. So let me pose that same question to you. Is it going to be your leader, the socialist leader, who's going to step up now? Well, I think that we all have to discuss. We are an alliance and uh, we have to be responsible. So we'll talk, I think, in a few hours, uh, the chiefs are going to call them each other and we are going to see and debate. But you, you, you see the, the confusion for people out there. There are four of you, four parties, four leaders, and effectively you're both saying we actually have no idea who's in charge right now. Because it's a union. We have to debate and discuss and I think it's the way it should be. Let me bring back in Daniel Daniela Bono. Uh, Mr. Bono, um, it won't be a surprise to you that Jean-Luc Mélenchon is a divisive figure. There are people on the left who like what you stand for as a party, whose values echo with them, but who don't particularly like him as an individual. They don't like the way that he speaks. Given how well your bloc has done tonight, in the interest of stability in France, is it the time to let another left-wing leader come forward and play that role? Really, listen, tonight we showed the world and the denier in France that what was important is a radical program. It's not about how people talk. It's not about how they behave if they wear suits and tie. It's about what you stand for. And I think if I may talk about Johnny Mélenchon, it's, it showed over the past decades, he was he is the one who rebuilt the left, a real left. He is the one who get we got 22 percent of the votes at the previous presidential election. He is the one that made this alliance possible. So we talk about our partners, of course. This got to be a collective decision. It will depend also how many, um, how big are our uh, our groups, and that's the way it, it works in 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 any over a parliamentary group. So we talk about that, but really what the people sh showed tonight, what the votes showed is that no matter how um, bad we are, uh, uh, how much 
bad things are told about us. We've been targeted by everyone, and especially Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Half of this campaign has been about targeting him, and people were not uh, fooled by that because people look at what was at stand, and they they said that we want this program. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And Jean-Luc Mélenchon, I said, is is ready for that. There are many other people in our group that are ready for that, yeah. and and we'll talk about it and we'll d discuss about it with our partners. But there's no, uh, you can't just say, uh, no. we'll pick this one or this one. It's not the media who's going to decide it. It's not Macron who's going to decide it. It's our uh, parliamentary group and the majority yeah. in the National Assembly that will decide who is going to uh, be the prime minister, whether it's a he or a she, because that's also a possibility. Daniel, OK, so you, you don't want to, to commit, but Olivia and Daniel, just looking at the figures. So if we look at the left alliance, 68 to 74 seats for the France Insoumise, your party, Daniel France and Baud, 63 to 69 for the Socialist Olivia, which means either party could potentially be on top. Just for the sake of the audience, France 24 listeners, give both of you a, a couple of names that you believe that you would fully back within both of your parties. Olivia. I think that we need to gather so as we don't have any... That's not a name. No, no, I mean, no, that's not a name. I'm not going to give you a name to, tonight. But um, as we don't have any absolute majority, we need to, to find when to vote the budget and so on. So we need to find someone that is able to gather the whole left. And maybe Danielle. Some, some, some other deputies. Danielle, if you're still with us. Yes, I'm still with you, but you know, it's not it's not a presidential election. It's not about one person. It's about a parliamentary group who is able to implement a program. Really, it's not about picking uh, the most uh, likable or the one who has the most bright smile. Really, we're talking about politics. How we change every day's life for millions of people in this country. We got to have someone who is able to stand strong and uh, fight for the people. I think those are the, the, the things that people are asking us to do, uh, to fight for them and to change their lives. And, and the person we're going to choose and, and propose as prime minister uh, should be someone who is able to do that. I think that's uh, the, the, the main uh, thing that people are waiting for uh, right now.